guys, welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys in my last video I was going to bring the drama in the next one and boy did I bring it. I am obsessed with this look right now. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look then just keep watching. So I put tape on my eyes because I'm going to be doing a darker kind of eye. So I just put some tape. I'm going in with the Morphe 25B palette. And I am using this lighter mid-tone kind of mauve shade. And I'm going to just use that as my first transition shade. And I'm going to run that into the crease. If you guys hear my dog playing, I don't know why she's choosing to play right now. But um, if you hear squeaking, that's my dog. So please ignore that. I want this look to be really cat eye kind of-esque. So... Kind of bringing it out. The next shade that I'm going to go into is a purpley kind of shade. I don't really know what it's called. It's one from MAC, but I'll make sure to put it into the description box. But I'm just going to run that um, a little bit into the crease as well. Just because I want some pops of purple in this eye look. So I kind of wanted to warm it up a little bit. Um, this is a little bit too cool of a purple that I was kind of thinking in my head. So I am going in with the Tarte Pro, what is this called? The Tartiest, the Tartiest Pro palette. And I am just going in with no filter. And I'm just going to rub that. I'm going to start building up the crease a little bit. And then to warm it up even more, I'm going in with Drama in the outer V and into the crease. Going in with a little bit more of a definer brush, tapered brush. I want to warm it up a little bit more, so I'm going back in into the Morphe palette, and I grabbed this purpley shade. I am just turning that alongside the outer V, and into the center of the eye. Because the purples that I used were cooler than I wanted, so I just want to warm it up really quick. Bring it in a little bit like so so I'm going to pause there with the shades and I'm going to add the shimmer now and then I'm going to go around it with some more shades this brownie shade from the SD edit by Estee Lauder it's called burn and I'm going to put that into onto the lid it's like this purpley dark brown but it's still warm it has like um, pink reflex in it. It's really pretty. I'm going to kind of bring that up. We're smoky today. Yeah, but I'm going to bring it up above the crease line. Like so. And I like to use my fingers for shimmers. I just find it is so much better. And then I'm just going to go around the edges once more, blend that puppy out. Whatever's left over on that brush. So I'm going to go in with a cooler kind of brown dark shadow and just kind of run it along here. Just a touch to darken everything up. And now I'm going to create a wing using the Ink Lot Eyeliner. I'm just going to make a little wing. Line my eyes a little bit. I'm just being a little messy because I'm actually going to smudge that out just a tad over the top.
This just came out way too opaque, so I'm going to run a little bit of the brown over the top of the shimmery shadow that I used earlier and run it over the top of the liner. We're going to pick up a black eyeshadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I am going to use that mainly in the outer part and bring it in slowly. And I think that's what I'm going to do instead on the other eye. So I didn't want it so dark in here. I want it to be more smudged, but the liner dried so fast. I'm going to take off the tape now. I'm going to go ahead and do my base really quick um, just because this video is going to be too long if I try to show you like everything. So I'm going to do most of the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Okay. Now I'm going to finish the lower lash line. So I'm basically going to go in back with the shadow, um, the warmer one because that's kind of the look that I want. I wanted that warmer kind of purple shade. First, I'm going to go in with that first eyeshadow that I went in initially as my very first transition shade from the 25B palette, just so it's not just like harsh purple. I'm going to wipe this off and kind of go around here to help blend everything nicely. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that purple. I'm going to start, I'm going to get close to the lash line. Like so. I didn't re really want to like put black in the waterline, but as I'm looking at this, I feel like it kind of needs it. So I'm going to be going in with this Ultimate Intense Auto Liner by LA Girl, and I'm going to um, put it on the waterline, and I'm also going to be tight lining the eye as well. So now I'm going to go in again and blend that purple out a little more. I'm going to add a little bit more purple right in here. I'm going to bring it down just tad bit, just a tad bit. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll look up even though I can't see what I'm doing, but so you guys can see. Like that. Who is she? Yes, cat eye. Told you guys, the next video I do is going to do a more dramatic look. I kind of am feeling like putting a little bit of this sparkly eyeshadow down here don't know let me let me think about that while I blend and I'll come back so I'm gonna grab this point the one that I use the eyeliner with because I'm feeling lazy to be honest let me just put it on the outer corner to see if this is what I want in life Ooh. I think I want it. So I'm going in with that shimmery eyeshadow and running that closer to the lash line. Ow. Can you guys see like the the pinky kind of reflex in the shadow? Like it's super, super pretty. I feel like I'm going to use Boomin from Makeup Shayla and ColourPop as my highlight just because I feel like orangey shades and purple shades complement each other really nicely. So I am going to be using this as my highlighter. I want more of a muted blush today, so I am using Wild Wild Honey from Becca. I don't really want like a bright highlight today. I mean, um, blush today. Just want 
And I'm going to see how I like this Boomin highlight in the inner corner. Oh, it's cute. I don't want like a bright, bright highlight, you know? Just a tad bit on the eyebrow bone. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Super subtle. Like you probably won't even be able to see it on camera, but it's there. So I'm done with my powders. So I'm going to go in and dust off the excess powders that I keep on my face. Go around the edges of my makeup. Make sure everything blends out nicely. And I will be right back. I'm just going to go ahead and put my lashes on off camera. Honey, she is feeling fierce. I'm not even done yet. <laughs> I'm pretty feeling this look, you feel me? God, I, I don't know why I never play with purple eyeshadows. Like, it's literally my favorite color. Why have I not been doing it? So, I am going in with a little bit of Spiffy from Morphe. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Love Bite from Morphe 2. It's like a darker brown. Just to go right in here. Right down here. Right up here. I'm going to go in with this Butter London lipstick called Clever. I could leave it like this. I kind of like it like this. But I'm going to put a little bit of gloss on just because um, I want to. <laughs> right in the center. And that's the Riri or the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow. I'm going to go back in with Spiffy and I'm going to line around the edges of the lips. And that's it, you guys. I'm obsessed with this look. Like, I love it. I wasn't sure how it's going to come out because I haven't used purples in a long time, but I'm really, really loving how this look came out. I wanted to keep the face. Like, I didn't want, like, the the super heavy blush that I usually put on. I wanted more of a toned down blush and just like the lips to be subtle and I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This was so much fun. I wish I was going somewhere. Like I wish I had somewhere to wear this too, but I don't. I'm just going to take some selfies for the thumbnail and wash this off. I'm definitely going to recreate it though because I absolutely love how this look came out. Like I, I, I just, I'm um, so so happy with it <laughs> but anyways you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to turn on those notification bells drop a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video